hours. Hours it's what I'm saving with this simple copilot. Let me explain you the situation. Currently, I was doing all the uh, business proposals completely manual. I will always start from scratch uh, from a blank paper and I will fill all the information. With the time, I decided that, hey, at least let's start from a template so that the formatting of everything, it stays the same. After that, I thought I could maybe use ChatGTP to provide me with some of the information that I need to put in each one of the sections of my template. And that was good. That was saving me already quite a ton of time. But I would still have to manually input all the information, make sure the format is the way it needs to be, remove most of the information that ChatGTP puts on the, on the answers that he gives you. So what I did is create a copilot agent. Copilot, if you don't know it, it's a Microsoft tool where basically you use ChatGDP and you're able to also connect to different tools inside the Microsoft environment and also outside. So I can use things like Power Automate to automate some of the tasks in the background. I can send stuff to a SharePoint, talk through Teams, all that type of stuff. What I did is basically a very, very simple agent that what I can do is I just go to Teams and I can say, hey, let's start again. Yes, I want to start my conversation. And then it's going to ask me, hey, what's the issue that you're trying to solve for your client? There, I'm going to input all the notes that I have for my client. Let's grab an example that I have here. I'm just going to copy paste them here. If you see, my client is in charge of these. They have these things, these issues. Basically, the notes I have from the first uh, meeting that I had with them, I just put that there. The more information you have, the better. What I also try to do is input what I think would be the solution for my client's problem. Okay, more or less what I have probably already talked on the call with them. Now with this, I send the message. And now the agent is working on the background to come up with a title for the proposal, to come up with the objective, the scope of the proposal, what are the deliverables, the timelines, all the important information that needs to be there and that changes project to project. There's other information that will not change project to project and that stays the way it is on the template. But this part, it's the part that is changing. You can see that it's already grabbing, uh, it's already creating all of those parts. Let's let it work. And right now you see that it's popping up all the different uh, messages on the, uh, on the chat, but I could also remove that and just be like, hey, just give me where you have uploaded the file. That's all I want. So here is my file. This takes me to SharePoint and it's this file here. You can see a few seconds ago. If I open it, there's still some issues that I'm trying to figure out in terms of formatting and in terms of working with the templates on Word, but that has nothing to do with the copilot itself. So what I have here is, and let's put it in view mode, reading mode. You have the, the first uh, page. You can see it's basically a title page. This is one of the issues I was telling you about formatting. I'm still trying to figure out this part. But other than that, I have the objective that we had there, the scope, the expected outcomes and benefits, all the project deliverables. This is another thing that I'm working on. So whenever I need to populate a table, I need to pass JSON information, but sometimes uh, the copilot is not able to just provide me JSON. It provides me also text with the JSON and I cannot use it. And it's a little bit tricky to work that into the Power Automate. That's one of the things that we should fix. But if you didn't need a table, you could right away use this. We remove this part. Then we have the solution components, everything that we need there. And then we have other information that I always have in all my proposals. 
that never changes so all that I need to do here is hey I could come here let's edit the document I would read through the document I will not just send this but you could do it it's quite good actually and you could just if you need to format something if you want to change the way something is presented or hey let's say I don't want this here I just want the table all in the same page so I just push it down all of those things you can do I want all the sections to be full that would be it there's our proposal now how did we do that let's come to copilot studio I created an agent from scratch okay and what I did is provided knowledge of each of the sections of the proposal that I want so and this is a proposal but let's say that this would be um, a project let's say that you're trying to do the documentation for a project proposal that you need for an internal project in your company you could do it with this let's say that I want to fill the objective here now to fill the objective what I did for the copilot to know what an objective looks like and what it needs to return to me I created different files we can see them all with for example examples of different objectives and I provided different examples of objective for previous proposals that I have done the more you provide the better and it's important that you provide different objectives that cover different type of projects so if I were to provide an objective all the time that was about automation services which is the case for what I do it's very possible that the agent will grab all that that is on the objectives and present it as in the in the examples and present it as the objective of the new project even if it has nothing to do with the project so we have to be careful there you have to provide a lot of examples and variety of examples now you do that for each one of the sections that you want and then we also created an action and an action is nothing that flows or things that the agent can can do and in this case we provided this trigger here this action here it's a power automate flow and it's very simple it just grabs all the information that is generated from the agent and inputs that information into the template that we have to create the proposal that we want and then saves that template on the proposal file and save that file whatever you want it to save with whatever name you want it to save if I show you this you will have to input what is it going to go from the copilot to the power automate flow I'm going to show you that it's super simple super straightforward there you have it populate a Microsoft Word template and update the file that's it in here we input all the stuff that is generated through the agent and then we just give an answer back to the agent saying hey done that's all that we do once we have all of this on the topics what I did is that regardless of what I say to the agent and the idea with this agent is make it really narrow in theory agents should be a little bit more broad but this was just for an example what I was doing here is that whatever the person that is interacting with the agent will do I will try to always route it back to the uh, topic where we gather the information from the call with the client and generate that proposal because this agent is defined to do only that it will answer you other general questions but the idea is that everything that this agent is able to do it just that and you could install it directly on Teams. I have it here, Sales Proposal. You could have it also on your chat. I have it here, Sales Proposal. And that's about it. You see it with Copilot. This took me around three full days of work. And that's having in mind that I had to learn everything from scratch. So with more time, this would be way better. Once the models get even a little bit better, this, was gonna, this is going to be like nuts, <laughs> like super, super good. And yeah, 
I don't know, go try it. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer with whatever I'm doing. I'm working on other copilots. So I'll let you know when I have all the copilots that are created and how they work. And that's it. See you in the next video.